A successful transition towards a circular water economy requires an integrated approach to water resource management. It is necessary to consider new water uses and users and the water land use nexus. Dedicated policy instruments, adequate legal and regulatory frameworks, favorable water resources, and spatial plans are key factors to consider for a successful transition. The University of Aveiro presents eight key institutional design propositions to develop and strengthen the governance of a circular water economy. 1. Clearly defined boundaries and responsibilities. This relates to existing borders between allowed users and free riders and ensures a clear perception of the responsibilities of agencies and stakeholders regarding new types of water. 2. Congruence between appropriation and provision rules as well as local conditions and uncertainties. This relates to understanding the difficulty in the implementation of new water loops concerning the existing regulations and local context. 3. Monitoring and evaluation of the process. This relates to understanding monitoring processes and guarantees safety of the use of water and the involvement of people affected indirectly by new water. 4. Conflict prevention and resolution mechanisms. This relates to understanding if stakeholders have rapid access to low-cost local arenas to resolve conflict among users or between users and officials. This principle stresses the need to discuss the rules to understand what infraction is and how conflicts can be reduced. 5. Equal and fair distribution and redistribution of risks, benefits, and costs. This relates to the understanding of mechanisms of distribution of costs and benefits generated by the new water loops. It seeks to balance the distribution of costs and benefits. 6. Collective choice arrangements. This relates to understanding to what extent stakeholders are involved in the process and if individuals affected by rules can participate in the modification of the operational rules and decisions. 7. Graduated sanctions. This relates to understanding rules and sanctions for non-compliance behaviors associated with the use or abuse of new water. This principle warns participants that if they break the rules, they will pay more. If this behavior continues, they will be forced to leave the system. 8. Flexibility of the process. This relates to understanding to what extent the governance model of water reuse can adopt new water loops and adapt to challenges and uncertainties. While policy, regulatory, and planning conditions influence the challenges of water reuse, successful implementation of these recommendations can facilitate the transition to a circular water economy.